Well, good day, everyone. Coming from you, North Arm up to Great Slave Lake, Yellowknife, Canada. Let me give you a review on the, my Can and Defender Max Limited with the tracks. Would have done it earlier, but since Christmas, I built this place in my spare time. So not quite finished yet, but it's livable at this point since Christmas. So I'll start off with the issues that I had over the winter. Now I've towed everything for this cabin with this unit because this year we didn't get much snow. All we got was cold. So much for global warming. We had a brutally cold winter. I think the crowd of global warming are smoking a bit of that Trudeau stuff. Yeah. So I started her up. I got 2,600 kilometers on to her. Let's see if you can see it here. There we go, 2665. Majority of that is the tracks on. Well, I'll start with the issues that I've had. I have lost that main wheel right there. That back idler wheel came off. Had to replace that. They're $135 each. And cutting my last trip to my cabin here short, on my way out across a flat pond, I broke that. I don't know how that could have happened. But you can see it was off the road onto a lake and up to here, the only hell was getting up to this cabin. I don't know if you can see it. There's a lot of ice, but there's a bolt right back in here that holds this on like a sway bar. For, the, for these tracks. I snapped two of them off, so I don't know if that's part of the issue. Maybe a lot of strain came onto this. Don't know. And somebody can want to put it into the comments, but I got to try to cripple home here today. Uh, cripple home. One of my buddies is coming over to give me a hand, and another one's going to pick me up on the lake with a trailer. So that was the mechanical issues that I had. So you think about it, it was minus 46, 47 below. I was building this cabin and towing, you know, skid after skid of uh, lumber up true here. So it's not too bad. I don't, well, I'm not happy about it, but could be worse, I guess. Uh, the other issue that you have with these units is probably see you open up this door. These here keep coming off like steadily. So I know I'll find some, talk to an automotive guy this summer and see if I can find something to glue them on. A uh, little pit peeve, filling this thing up. You gotta be really careful and slow. It shoots back at you all the time. Ice buildup. You get lots of ice buildup on these units. I put mine in the garage each time I come back, and then the water that comes off is unreal. Now there's been talk of people losing built slots. I haven't lost a built yet. I don't know if Can Dam actually fixed the issue, but I've heard people lose them up to like with tracks on 500 kilometers. Me, like I said, I got 2,600 kilometers onto, and majority of that was with tracks on, and I haven't lost a belt yet. But they said the main issue for changing the belt, so if you can see it built up there, as that usually in the winter time at 40 below it turns into solid ice. So they said you got an hour of chipping away ice before you can get and take off that cover. So it's not a pleasant job. Lucky enough, I haven't had to do it. So that there is the major issues that I've had with it. As far as heat inside the cab goes, um, at 40 below, you don't need winter pants on and winter boots. No way around it. 
it's uh you got to have that on but you can like go with just a hoodie on for, for up above but that's at 40 below now coming out these temperatures now we're down to like minus six minus seven here now at night here at the end of april this is april 30th uh we wouldn't uh well coming out yesterday i couldn't turn down the heat low enough so they, they're really good like i gotta be honest with you i'm a, a snowmobile person true and true always have been love my snowmobile but this unit and building this cabin over this winter i dearly love it to be honest with you to come out here and to be in the warm build this place after five or six hours out here in the cold and have a place to sit down and have lunch in the warm and then to drive home in the warm and you know you can sit back on the way out to your cabin have a beverage like another thing i got to mention to you they're not fast uh, with the tracks on to them 40 kilometers an hour max speed on these lakes so that's something that you'll have to get used to but you know you're sitting there with your wife or your family or a friend and and you're able to have a beverage on the way out true and chatting and stuff like that there another thing with chatting they are a bit loud inside the cab because they relocate the vent for the, the motor and for the clutch inside the cab so all of a sudden it goes from like i think i mentioned in my last video that the units have improved with the amount of uh, how good they are for quietness but when you throw them tracks on yeah and relocate everything to get a bit noisy inside the cab so if you're doing 40 kilometers an hour down the lake it's not much discussion if you're just going through the trails at 15 20 kilometers an hour oh yeah you're just chatting and and driving along listening to the tunes after all this here this winter of driving this unit um i gotta say even with the issues that i've had which today is kind of peeving me off a little bit because i gotta sh cut my last trip short is that i love the unit and uh, for coming out here where i go like if you had a lot of tight trails you might want to reconsider or a lot but here in the north I recommend getting a unit of this here sort in any way, shape, or form. Um, so, been loving the unit. Highly recommend them. I got to put a shout out to uh, for the issues that I did have to uh, Joey at Polar Tech here in Yellowknife, uh, Tim in uh, in service, Josh, he's on the tools, uh, just or Jesse, I'm sorry. Um, when I did have issues, they got me on the go really quickly and got me back onto the road, which, you know, it seems always happen when you're enjoying something on the tail end. That's when you'll have issues. So they did do. So thanks a lot, guys, for getting me back out onto the road. I'm trying to think now what other things I can mention to you because... I can't say much more bad about them because they're just a wonderful unit. Starting in the cold, you gotta have a full battery or have them plugged in. Uh, I did have one issue this winter there. I think it was like 46, 47 below. And I didn't have it plugged in all night and I plugged it in only for like a couple hours and it didn't wanna go. I actually had to put a booster pack on my battery. Once I'd done that, it seemed to wanna to start then. So I maybe like a combination of having a completely full battery and the unit plugged in so since then if i'm out here well we always got a generator running anyway i plug it in from the get-go uh, for all night but i think for most people down south you may not even have an issue because you know we get the extreme cold minus 40 minus 46 minus 47 50 some nights so but yeah so uh, I think that's pretty much all I got to say here about the unit. Uh, I had to upgrade the lighting. Uh, they come with just this regular lighting. So, I, you know, up here we get darkness from pretty much 10. Well, we only get light from 10 to 3 or 10 to 2 most times. So I put on a little light bar, took it regular lighting, put in all LED, which helps out a lot. Only thing I haven't done yet, uh, I gotta put in some backup lighting. 
which I'll next year I'll have a little bit more time because I'll be cluing in on this project and uh, that's pretty much it as you can see beautiful view up here in the north you gotta love the north how do you recommend anybody come up here in the views of the northern lights and that's a lot of times when I'm coming up through just with a tow load and tow in this unit and looking out through the window in the nighttime and, and just enjoying the view and nice and warm inside the cab and and as far as the going I had um, the three seater and I upgraded to the six seater highly recommend it be honest with you at this point in time if I was if I knew know what I know now I would buy the six seater over the three seater hand over fist like you know even if you're coming up by yourself to draw your groceries inside in the warm and your clothing and everything it's just great have everything in the back seat your rifle everything is out of the weather and because you know in the pan it checks up a lot of snow so anything you put back there is going to get covered in snow um or, or road grime as you can see she's in a little bit of a mist there now because everything's starting to melt in town so coming through town she's getting a bit dirty and stuff like that okay so guys wish me luck i got a buddy coming over to help me cripple home with that broken a-arm and uh, i'll give you some more updates probably in the summer when i get the tires back on i guess the next time this week time next week hopefully if they got a-arm in stock i'll have the tires back on and we'll go from there okay goodbye from uh, give you one last little view of this beautiful view from canada northwest territories Nord Arm Lake, Great Slave Lake. Bye now.